What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to solve this annoying issue if you've got your Android device stuck on this screen in here which says phone is starting and then you've got in here a progress bar that usually keeps on moving from the left to the right. In my case this is just an image representation my phone is working fine but I'm gonna be showing you how to diagnose and how to solve this issue and do not worry regardless of the Android phone that you've got this time that I'm gonna show you should work. In my case I've gotten here a Samsung Galaxy device but do not worry if you've got a different one the steps are gonna work for you as well. Hey my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. In today's tutorial we'll be covering a solution here for this annoying problem of getting your phone stuck on that specifically screen right there. So for example, suppose you are exactly on this specific screen which says phone is starting, the phone is actually preparing it to get started. So what I would recommend you guys to do, the very first thing, it's pretty easy, is to actually turn your phone into safe mode. And in order to do this, you just need to press and hold the side button along with the volume down key, okay, as if you want to turn it off, okay, press and hold it, release it once you see, once you see the specific power off screen in here, we're gonna press and hold the power option. So press and hold and then release and you've got an option which says safe mode in here. Tap on safe mode, your device is gonna reboot or in other words, restart, but in a specific different mode, which is the safe mode. Now, please ensure that you do not wanna use your phone in safe mode for normal routine purposes, okay? You just wanna turn it in safe mode just to solve the issue and then you're turning it back on on its regular normal mode okay so let's wait and see what we've got in here here we go my phone is now in safe mode and as you can see we've got in here a label which says safe mode okay let's quickly unlock our phone okay make sure you do not navigate by going into instagram or whatsapp or enjoy other applications right now okay let's quickly fix the problem that you've got so i want you to hop into settings real quick okay because we want to double check what caused this and then we want to fix it, right? So once we're here on settings, what I would recommend you guys to do is to scroll down all the way to apps down here, okay? We've got apps in here, tap on apps, and then once you're here on apps, you want to simply tap here, and then you want to tap here, and sort it by last used. You wanna see which apps are the latest one that you've been using and you wanna make sure you force stop them, okay? For example, if the latest app that I've been using was One UI Home because I've just opened settings, so definitely it's not settings, simply tap on it and then we've got in here an option which says force stop. You wanna tap on force stop, tap on okay. This will definitely force stop and close that application. Do not worry, this will not uninstall the app because once you restart your device, this is gonna relaunch that specific app or any other app. Now, I would recommend you guys to do this into the last three or four apps that you've been using, okay? For example, if you notice a specific new app or strange app that you've been using in the last minutes, make sure you simply tap on it and then force stop it and then simply close the settings and now perform a restart in order to start your phone in normal mode again. So now let's turn off our device by pressing and holding volume down along with the side one, release it, tap on restart and your phone should now restart in the normal mode and not in safe mode. You now want to double check if it still gets stuck on the preparing the device or anything like that. I assume this fixed the problem that you've got. Now, if it doesn't fix, we're moving into the next step in here that I'll be showing to you right now, okay? So the next step is basically suppose your phone is in this situation, okay? You're unable to use it and you need it urgently and it's stuck. You're gonna press and hold the volume down with the power button. You wanna make sure you power it off by tapping once and then tap on power off your device. So what we wanna do in here is hop into the recovery menu of our device. And in order to do this, we just need to press and hold the volume up along with the power key for a few seconds until we see the Samsung Galaxy logo, okay? Press and hold both of the keys for a few seconds, keep on holding until you see the Samsung Galaxy, release it, and then your phone should go into recovery menu real quick. This is how the recovery menu should look like. And over here, what we need to perform is a reboot, which is basically a restart, but something done in a much more advanced way. 
So over here, in order to navigate, your touch will not work. You need to use the volume up or down keys in here. So tapping on down, you'll be going down, okay, in the menu to select the options and volume up to go up, okay. So what you want to do is basically search for reboot system now. In my case, it's the first option, but in your case, it might be down here or in the middle. So you want to navigate searching for reboot system now and then tap on the side key in order to select that option and restart your device. So in my case, since it's the first option in here, I'm just going to tap in the power or side button to reboot my system. Now make sure you do not select reboot to boot loader. Make sure you select reboot to system now. Okay. Simply tap on the side button. So here we go. My phone is now rebooting real quick, which is basically a restart that is taking place in here. All we need to do is wait for a couple seconds. Here we go. The phone is now starting. And now you want to make sure if this fixed the problem or not, please double check if the problem is now fixed. I hope this fixed the problem because this is definitely a software issue, just a quick software glitch that should be fixed with this tutorial right here. Thank you so much for making good till the end of the video and if you find my content useful consider subscribing, like the video and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.